significant figures. Sometimes we round off a number using significant figures. The rules for rounding numbers stay the same. All numbers or figures, not zero, are significant. Rounding numbers. Rounding rule. Remember, we look at the neighbour. Do we give it a high five? Or if it's four or below, we let it go. Rules for significant figures. So 36.28 has four significant figures. 7.75 has three. The tricky part comes with numbers like this. Zeros to the point. If you're in front, you're out. If you're in the middle, you're stuck. And if you're at the end, you only count if there's a point. An example. 2001 has four significant figures because the zeros are counted. 200.0 also would have four significant figures because it has a decimal point. And then 200 would only actually have one significant figure, but the other two zeros we leave for placeholders to hold the value of the number. One significant figure, SF. So here's our number. There's our first significant figure. The neighbor is eight. So we have a look. That's a high five. So we're going to add one. And there's our answer. Two significant figures. As you can see, all those zeros, we don't count them. They're at the front. So eight is our second significant figure. We look at the neighbor. It's a five. Five is high, add one, there we go. One significant figure, 0 0.123. One is our first one, the neighbor is two. So it's four or below, so we let it go, leave it at 0 0.1. Let's have a look, 0 0.156, one is our significant figure, five is high. We add one and we round that to 0 0.1. Two. So let's have a look. One significant figure, it's a four. Neighbours are zero, so that's four or below. So we let it go, 0 0.4. Now, two significant figures. So there's our number. Now our figure here is a zero because it's in the middle. We count it. The neighbour's five, so we add one. So that would make that 31 thousand so we leave those zeros there because they're placeholders to keep the number the same three significant figures number nine and the neighbor it's a number nine so we're gonna high five we're gonna add one and carry them over each number so our answer will be 0 0.300 zero. Now two significant figures, so our second figure is nine and our neighbour is nine. We're going to add one and carry it over again and our answer would be four million. And as you can see, we'd leave these zeros in because you need to keep the value of the number. And we put those little dashes in to show the thousands. So let's have a look at a question. Say you asked to estimate this in an exam paper rounding to one significant figure. So we would write that as 400,000 times 0 0.006, which equals 2,400. And the actual answer is this. So that is a good reason why we would round up and estimate using significant figures. Zeros to the point. If you're in front, you're out. If you're in the middle, you're stuck. And if you're at the end, you only count if there's a point.